There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi, Caro here and welcome to day 21's video where I'm going to take you a step further into AdWords and teach you how to add more ad groups with our strategy of one keyword per ad group. Now Robert's already shown you in a video today how to go about finding more keywords to test using Market Samurai. So I'm going to then take that and show you how to put it into pay-per-click and we're also going to split test ad variations. So this should be a easy to follow video so without further ado let's get cracking. Okay, so here we are in our AdWords campaign and we can see our campaign is Vintage Electric Guitar and we've spent $4.24 and our CTR looks very, very low and I'll explain why that is very soon. There was um, the gremlin somehow deactivated something, meaning I think I pressed a wrong button somewhere. So there's our one ad group, Vintage Electric Guitar. And we've been spending, you know, maximum 25 cents a click, and our average cost per click is 15 cents. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this more closely. So we're going into the ad group now. So I've picked the keyword um, portion here, and you can see there's a quality score. You can actually choose that from customized columns. It will actually offer you, because I've chosen it, it says now I can hide it, but it will actually say show quality score. So I picked that. That gives me an idea of what Google thinks of my landing page. And great is what you want. You get great, okay, or poor. And poor is when they tend to put the price up. So let's have a closer look here. We can see we've got an excellent CTR for, fra um, for exact match of 7.66. And I'll be addressing in another video um, what to do with regards to um, taking out keywords and so forth. At this stage, we're adding keywords and we're still monitoring. Now, you'll see that our actual um, CTR is 3.26. That one, one click um, for content with 15 cents, thank goodness it was only one, has distorted our figure there. So we're actually doing really well with that one ad. So I'm really happy about that. I'm also happy about our average position and particularly for exact match at um, you know basically top position so what I'm going to do now actually first thing I'm going to do seeing that I um, have an average CPC of 14 cents and I'm not too concerned about the broad match here I'm actually going to edit my default so I'm going to edit the default CPC max CPC and I'm going to put it at 15 cents because I can see that I've been getting um, you know, decent traffic at that. So this may be something you want to consider for yourself. So let's save traffic at that. Now I want to go back to the actual ad group and I want to choose add new ad group. Start with keywords. Now, I'm just going to bring into the screen, I'm going to take my cursor out and bring in the list that I got from Market Samurai, here we are, of keywords. Now this is a report that I um, exported out of Market Samurai and these are the 20 keywords, so from 2 to 21, that I'm going to focus on that suggests that AdWord traffic has four searches here a day for those particular phrases. So I'm going to be putting each of these in and I'll show you how I do that with the ad group name being say vintage guitar with the keyword vintage guitar and so forth. So I'll just um, pause that for now. So we'll do vintage guitar. Yes you've noticed my dyslexic typing again. Vintage guitar. Okay, so I'm going to keep that for now and I'll show you what I'm going to do soon there. And I'll do my, again, as I said yesterday, this is just a personal preference to do the minus three. Vintage guitar, vintage guitar. 
Some AdWords specialists suggest that you don't need to advertise on both exact and phrase match. It's just a personal preference. Um, I do that and it doesn't seem to do me any harm. So again, if you're somebody that knows a little bit more about pay-per-click and you want to make a call there, that's fine. So let's continue. See how easy this is? Okay, so I'm going to go at the 15 cents. Let's just have a look at traffic estimator. Okay, I quite like the look of that. Continue. Now I'm going to save this ad group and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create some other ads for those two ad groups. So I'm going to be going through 20 of these. So let's have a look now at ad variations in this. So what I can do is I can actually create a new ad. So this is what I want to do. I want to create a new text ad. Now also I'm bringing into um, into screen two ads that I've pre um, pre written based on maximum um, words. Now they're actually quite different to each other. Often when you're split testing ads, you might just have a really minor variance, and that's fine. I'm I'm just trying some different things here um, with regards to I'm going a little bit extreme, and I just for the purpose of this video and this exercise, and I just want to see what each ad gets with regards to click-through rate. Now, generally with split testing, like to leave it for a couple of days to see results. It depends on the speed of your traffic. Either a couple of days or round about 200 clicks is how I gauge um, how everyone's doing. And I've also, as you saw earlier, I've chosen like a natural rotation. So, I'm going to keep the same title and what you need to know, thank you. A vintage electric guitar and see it does that and as I said yesterday I always like to check what I like to do is I just like to do everything to keep Google happy as as far as I can consciously keep them happy now one thing I'd say about the internet and I think you've seen this in different areas of the of the 30-day challenge is you really need to be able to be flexible and be responsive to change because you know who knows what Google's going to come back to you with you know tomorrow they your ads could be going really really well and then they say you know sorry um, I don't think they're quality ads now I don't like it when I receive that um, feedback basically it's a change in their algorithm so it just requires us to modify they have a support network at Google which are you know very accessible and there's also you can contact them through here now again this is way down the track for you guys we're just setting up the campaign at this stage so let's save this ad and let's do one more Great, and I think I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to split test three. Normally, actually, I just split test two, but for this exercise, we're doing three. So we'll do that for the vintage perfecto. All right, so we have three ads that are in the ad variations. We have keywords. Great! They're saying that um, um, they like it, so thumbs up. Maximum CPC I changed from 25 cents to 15. And then if we look at the summary, um, I'm not advertising on content, so I switch that off again and I am on for search. So there you go. So I'm going to pause this video now and finish up because I've got quite a bit of work to do to load up 20 or 19 more keywords. So thank you very much for watching this and um, anyway, I'll see you soon. I'll see you on the closing page. Hi there, 30 day challenges. Well, I hope you found that video straightforward. As just to recap once again, what I've done is I've uploaded different keywords that have been pulled out of the Market Samurai tool as per what Robert showed you today, earlier on today. And I've got a list of 20. If you've only got 5, 10, that's fine. The key thing is, is to have one keyword per ad group and also three ad variations for split testing.
and as I said earlier as well that you want that to run for a couple of days and I'll, and I'll show you I'm going to be doing another video for the next step so just keep on monitoring your account keep on monitoring how much you're spending and you know read the Google help because there's a lot of information there and it's really good information so I hope you're enjoying this um, segment of video series on Google AdWords and I will be speaking to you very soon take care bye there is no charge for awesomeness